We've all seen it. Some people just seem to perform better than others. Whether that's formally measured or just informally understood. What if you could bring most performers to the higher levels of performance already being achieved by some? If master performers or exemplar performers can do it, why not everyone else? Why? Why the gaps? And what's the ROI potential? If everyone could do it, so what? If some, the master performers or exemplar performers can do it, it's probably not the process, for they all perform in the same process. It's probably not the environmental supports, the data and information, the materials and supplies, the tools and equipment, the facilities and grounds, the financial and budgetary resources, the culture and the consequence system, because that would be the same for everyone. And yet, there's master performers performing at a levels higher than everyone else. It's got to be the performer. It's got to be that. It's got to be them. But what part of them? Is it the awareness, knowledge, and skills that some have over others? Is it perhaps their physical attributes and the differences? Is it the differences in their psychological attributes? Or their intellectual attributes? Or their personal values? The key here is, for these gaps, what's the return on investment potential for closing those gaps? What would it cost to assess the performer's requirements and the gaps of some in terms of their awareness, knowledge, and skills, their physical, psychological, or intellectual attributes, or their personal values. What's the approach that one can use? Well, you need a proven performance and enabler analysis process for assessing the performance requirements and the gaps in performers' awareness, knowledge, and skills, physical attributes, psychological attributes, intellectual attributes, and personal values. But how long will something like this take? Well, I've done over 150 of these types of analyses in the past 30 years. And in three days, you can typically determine both the requirements, the ideal performance, that the master performers are already achieving, and then the gaps and their causes of the incumbents who aren't master performers. The gaps in terms of their awareness, knowledge, and skills, their physical attributes, their psychological attributes, their intellectual attributes, and their personal values. It's one of those sets of variables. But where does this lead? What will you do when you uncover the gaps of the non-master performers? It can lead to various human resource talent management type systems changes. It can lead to changes in the organization and job designs. It can lead to changes in the staffing and succession planning systems. Changes in the recruiting and selection systems. Changes in the training and development systems. Changes in the performance appraisal and the performance management systems changes in the compensation and benefit systems, and changes in the reward and recognition systems. I've been practicing and publishing and presenting on these specific analysis methods for over 30 years. Most of my projects are targeted at instruction, performance-based instruction, but I've known for over 30 years that instruction, which addresses knowledge and skills, aren't always at the root of performance discrepancies. Let's improve performance together.